What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. Today uh, we are going to be taking the car to the car wash and as you can see it is raining outside. It's not for the outside of the car, not for the inside of the car, but for the engine bay. Uh, the last few days, well actually since I got the car back, I've been smelling a real strong burning odor inside the car. Thought it was oil because it kind of smelled like oil, but it also kind of smelled like rubber. So like I, I mean it was kind of a, a weird smell, I'm going to be honest. And it still happens anytime I drive the car and I come to a stoplight or a stop sign and I sit there for a few seconds, you can start to smell it. Especially if I auto start my car in the morning and get into my car, you can really smell it. Uh, and then once I start driving, the smell goes away. But I uh, called the dealership and talked to them. They said the SRT tech said when he was putting everything back together, there's like mechanical grease and stuff like that that they use. and. Uh, they didn't wash it off because I have the uh, Instagram names on my engine bay and they didn't know if that was going to take the names off of the engine bay or not. So they didn't do it because of that. So they said you can go through uh, like a manual, uh, what is that, manual car wash and they usually have like a, I think it's the same thing that they use for your tires. It's like a degreasing, engine degreaser or whatever. So you can use that. They said you can spray it down and then use like not use the high pressure rinse to clean it all off um, use a low pressure rinse to get it off and that should help to either cut back or completely eliminate the smell um, and if it doesn't then i'm gonna have to bring it in but because of the coronavirus uh the hours for that tech are being cut so today is thursday he's not gonna be back in until tuesday of next week so if it still continues to have that smell in the next few days after I wash it I'm gonna have to bring it back but I have to wait till Tuesday before I can bring it in um, so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna bring it bring it by the manual wash um, I'm gonna drive it there and I know people are gonna freak out because it's like oh you drove your car for half an hour and you're just gonna spray the hot engine I don't really have much of a choice because I really want to get rid of the smell and I'm not gonna have another time to do it um, I gotta work tonight and then I have my kids tomorrow and stuff like that so I don't wanna it's just gonna I, I'm just gonna do it today I think we'll be okay so calm yourself down um, yeah so let's go do that there's the car wash All right. and my second job delivering pizzas Oh, I don't have to back in. Sweet deal. Guess I won't then. You guys can see the steam. I don't know if I'm going to even be able to see it. But it comes from down there, down under. I can't see anything right now. I can smell it. That's about it. I'll just do the whole dang thing. Ooh, she's a steaming. Pressure. 
we get all that crap out. Don't want to be spraying more soap in there. I think we're good, but then I done twisted this thing. That's a little better. A Jeep. Yeah, you can definitely smell it now. So that must have been what that was, just the grease or whatever that was on there. We'll give that a minute. Come through the vents. Gorgeous. successfully sprayed down the engine bay. Uh, let's hope that helps get rid of the smell, at least a little bit of it. If not, I'm gonna have to try and find an actual degreaser at my house probably. Come back a different time and do it. But that is what the dealership recommended doing. Literally told me to take it to the manual car wash and uh, spray down the engine bay help get some, get some of that mechanical grease and stuff off in hopes that that would help so we shall see uh probably give it a day or two probably not even that long honestly by this afternoon this evening i should know whether or not it works at all but uh for now that's where we're gonna leave it hope you guys are having an awesome time doing whatever it is you're doing for those of you that are off work i'm sorry that you're off work but i'm glad you're staying safe if you are if you are staying home uh, for those of you that have to work I commend you I as well have to work both of my jobs and uh, that's where we are right now in the world so try and make some more videos as things happen if I have to bring this thing in next week that would suck so I'm really hoping that this takes care of the problem I hope you guys are having an awesome day have a good weekend if I don't see you or hear from you or anything like that 
and I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in, watching my videos, as boring and boring as they might be, at least I think some of them are. Anyways, if you have not already, please consider subscribing. If you are already subscribed, thank you, you're awesome. Stop sign. And we'll catch you guys next time.